much. Well, it, it always is when it's a close game. But, um, you know, Hal Hamilton's he's dangerous when he's out there, and he, uh, you know, Votto hits a bullet to center, and he makes it easy to third, and then anytime the ball's in the dirt, he's so fast, you uh, it's hard to recover from it. But it's uh, I don't know, it's, it's it's obviously a tough loss. We had, you know, we had a good situation to score, and we don't do it, and then they come back and score. Pivotal obviously is keeping Hamilton off the bases and not walking him in that situation. Yeah, it's uh, it's huge. So, um, you know, he's not, it's not like you can just go at him because he, he does, you know, he's hurt us. He's hit home runs against us to hurt us. He's hit doubles to hurt us. So you can't just say, well, I'm going to throw a fastball right down the middle. You still have to pitch to him. But he's, um, but he's so dangerous when he gets on. Uh, considering how hot Segura's been, was it tough to make the decision to have him drop down that bunt? No, not at all. Oh, no, absolutely not. With Ellie coming up next and Ellie's hot, uh, no, no question. And what about then pitching K Rod with the lefties coming up? Is it is there thought of Smith there? Or is it just you go with your closer in the ninth? Well, actually, Frankie's numbers are way better against lefties and righties, so um, so really wasn't much of a question. And it, the inning before was going to be a question to try to figure out that. Um, but uh, no, I, I like Frank Frankie coming in there. Is this as good as you've seen Jimmy up here? In the, in the yeah, game? outstanding ball game. His fastball command was great. He kept it down. He went up when he needed to. Curveballs were great. A lot of really good sliders. Um, it's a shame, you know, you get that kind of outing. And, and uh, I know who we're going against. You're going against Cueto, you know you're going to have trouble scoring runs. And, uh, and you know, he makes pitches when he needs to. And uh, so that makes it tough. Spot is an upper arm. Would he have gone past 94 pitches, or is that about where you like him? Uh, no, I think uh, I think you know I don't I don't have any problem putting him back out there. He's a he's a big strong guy. I don't you know they leave Cueto out for a whatever he ended up 125 or whatever. But Jimmy's physical. I don't I don't think we have to worry about 90 pitches with him. He can, he can go over 100, and I'm not concerned. Was From Jimmy's... your perspective, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. From your perspective, uh, how much of this is Cueto being very good and your guys scuffling? I mean, what is it? uh, it's Cueto being very good, yeah. And I don't, you know, I'm whining a little bit here, but I tell you what, I, I'm tired of the pitches we're getting called on us. Just call, call the pitches strikes when they're strikes. I, I'm, I'm tired of it. You know, last night was the same thing. Just the pitch on Ellie is high. The pitch first pitch to, to uh um, Davis at the, in the last innings is, is on the white line and inside. The guy's throwing 100 miles an hour, and the umpire's calling a strike on a pitch in the white line inside. And then Jason Rogers is six inches outside to end the game. Just come on, let's go. How about ringing up Ramirez on strike two? You see that? Yeah, I saw that. Energy is still there, Ron. Energy is still there. We still feel good. We still still feel like we're going to win the game, and um, and it just you know, like you brought up the wild pitch. I mean, that's not a good way to lose a game.